870 WOCA. Ocala. All right, 10 minutes before 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Yesterday morning, we were not here. Robin and I were not here. Now, actually, I was here early in the morning. Yep. I was doing a little bit of show prep. Dan Martone sat in for us as we went to Daytona Beach to uh, do a show for the Daytona uh, Beach State College, or Daytona State College, right? Yes. Is that the name? Um, anyway, so I, when I was here yesterday morning, I plugged my phone in to recharge it and forgot to take it. So I was with out my phone which was kind of an eye-opener because uh you at one time you said to me you must be lost without your phone and i thought yeah no it's actually kind of nice to not have the phone i was kind of kind of uh <laughs> thinking i should do this on purpose a lot you know <laughs> and and then we so then after we're done with the show we went over to the ocean to the beach because you know it's always something you're that close you might as well drive over to the water right mm-hmm. so we go over to the water and it's spring break in some parts of this country and that means that the uh the beach is just crowded with with young people who are um, enjoying their their time off from their schooling and they're they're on the beach and I I, I said to Robin I said there's, they're having fun I mean they're they're throwing footballs they're they're um they're they've got a little foot footsie ball game I don't know what that that game was called but nobody was using their phones nobody was really glued to their devices and i thought well that's a good sign i mean we always say boy the kids are st- have their nose stuck on their devices well so are us older people i mean we, we've all got the little uh addiction going on with our devices well what what did life used to be like we used to have crossword puzzles we used to have circle remember those books where you circle the words well, somebody puts those things together. They don't just grow. Denise Lorenz is one of those people. She's on the phone. She's the creator of more than 75 books, including Word Search, Fun Fact, Picture Books, and a whole lot more under uh, a lot of different pen names. She's got a 30-year career in the healthcare field, and she homeschools her five children. And she's encouraging children to unplug from those electronic devices and relax and engage your brain in something else other than that electronic device in your hand. Um, so let's talk to her about this real quickly. Uh, Denise Lorenz, thank you for being on the air with us today. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Where are you right now? I'm in the Midwest, in Missouri. In, in Missouri, okay. And how, yeah. how's, the, how's the weather today? Uh, it's nice. Blue sky, it's supposed to be in the 70s today. Great. Are, Love you, spring. are you calling on a smartphone? Yes, I am. <laughs> Smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> And do you, do you use your phone for, for more than just ca- calling people? I do. I'm oh, guilty. So you're guilty of this too. But but here's what yes. I, here's what I here's what I wonder. Okay, one time uh, Robin had to bring her daughter's dog to the vet, and I went with her, and I sat in the waiting room. And there happened to be a, one of those word search books there, and I picked it up and I started doing it. And and, yeah. and there was something relaxing about putting that pen onto that paper. Instead of doing it, let's say on a on an app or something, it just felt right. it was something relaxing. You 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 agree, right? I do, I do. There's it. I think it uses a different part of our brain. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm we, don't we don't know. We don't know why. It just it just is. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, it just is. Yeah. So why? How come you put a different name? Why do you use different pen names? Well, I divide up my books because I have so many different interests and so many different types of books. I divide up the book by um, genre, and I use a pen name for each genre. Like, um, my my word search books are all by Emily Jacobs, and then I have trivia fun fact books that are interactive questions and answers with pictures, and they're just uh, fun facts. Um, and that's Wyatt Michaels, and I just it, it just depends on the genre, which pen name I use. Well, do you have anything with uh, uh, math problems and stuff in there? When I was in high school all those decades ago, uh, that was one <laughs> of the things that uh, we did in our trigonometry class. The uh, a teacher asked us to do a crossword puzzle with uh, uh, trigonometry terms and to make clues. Do you do anything in that realm? I do not, but I remember enjoying that as well. They, I think they're called fill-ins. or I, I don't even remember the name of them, but... 
yeah, how to how to fit the numbers in the certain. It wasn't the Sudoku or whatever it's called today, but there were certain numbers in certain boxes, and oh. that, that was a lot of fun. I love doing that. Sudoku is so but, hard. I don't know how to do. Sudoku. I don't either. I I try and I I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I. I can't work the puzzles, but I'm not even going to try to make one. <laughs> I think it's wonderful that you have a different degree of difficulty for all of the uh, different age groups. Right, yeah, these books, especially the word search books and even the trivia books, um, they can be used like 10-year-olds and up, I would say. Anybody with a good grasp of, of grammar, or not even grammar, but language skills, a good grasp of reading, um, and then all the way to older adults. It's just a relaxing, fun game for all ages, and the word search books have word searches as well as word scrambles, and they also have like trivia matching games, um, like in my, I think it's in my baseball book, it has like what stadium goes to what team, or what sta- what team goes to what city, or, or something like that, it, it just, you, you match up the teams with the stadiums, and, and it's just a, a fun, it's just fun game. That, and uh, you uh, are a huge baseball fan, you have a few favorite teams I, too. Uh, well, yes, I have had my favorite teams in the year. And it's for spring training and getting ready for the new season, and it's, it's a good time of year for baseball. <laughs> I, w- I would have no clue about them. Let's see, I th- how many stadiums do I know? I think I know, whoa, whoa, whoa. what's the one in your state? Oh, oh don't tell me, Wrigley Field? No, that's, that's Chica- in Chicago. That's Chicago. We were a part of <laughs> Oh my gosh! We I don't know. In Milwaukee. Uh, I would know. What would I know? Yankee Stadium? I don't even know. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm horrible. City Field, you know, right? City Field, yeah. Is that up in your area? Yeah, but I don't know what it looks like. I, it's, they built that after I moved away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it looks like anymore. Uh, you also go on to recommend uh, the uh, cert- the ages that children should consider getting a job. Right. I my children are now uh, sixteen and up. And I, I remember they transitioned into the job market, and my actually my youngest has been the most motivated to get a job, and she actually got her first job at fifteen. Oh, um, but but that was very rare to find somebody that would hire somebody that young. Um, yeah, it's really t- it's really tough under eighteen because of all the restrictions on. I know we talked to someone yesterday, and he, he was a sandwich shop person. He goes, yeah, they have to be 18 to work here because of the slicer. And there's just certain things at 15. We laugh because my daughter was not allowed to touch anything hot. You know, there's, there's just so many laws and restrictions of what they can and can't do at certain ages. So it's really tough to oh, enter wow. the job market, but it is possible. You know, it, so. Um, so, so how do we find uh, the sports word searches and scrambles? That, um, that uh, my notes say that you have some online, right? Do we is that do we do do we play them online or just order them online? No, you order them online. They're in paperback. Okay. The word search books are paperback. The others are available in in a Kindle type uh, book or paperback. Some of my books are in uh, book audio book form. Really, I've got a few that way. Uh, but if you go to books worth buying dot top it's not dot com it's dot top cop like, top a, of like, buy. like a policeman what's that i'm sorry did you say cop like a policeman no dot top well top with a t as oh, in top yes. okay dot top oh okay okay yeah. oh, so yeah. wh- 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 and, and what was the first dot wh- wh- what book, is it dot top books worth buying dot top Books worth buying. I never heard of Dot Top before. No. Okay, I'm, I'm going to it right now. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, and then my featured book this month is the baseball book because of the baseball season just getting started. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. If you if you click on shop at the across the top, you'll see shop, and then there will be all my books listed under that. Shop across the top at the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's on top. <laughs> <laughs> and you also homeschooled your five children, so you really have a l- lot of you know different interests that you're doing, not just for your own children, but for others. Right. What I found with my kids is uh, through the years, it, I, I learned right along with them a lot of the time. But I found that if they were interested, if it was fun, we could do it, and they didn't even know they were learning, which is kind of the best. <laughs> yeah, <it>. really. <laughs> And that's what these, a lot of my books are geared toward that. They're a lot of fun, but there's education in there. Um, I believe in my trivia books more so, um, 
kids can learn geography, history, all kinds of things, and not even know they're doing it. Oh, but they're okay. having a lot of fun. All right. So I, the, I think I was confused about something. The audio book is not how you can get the word search. I was trying to think, how oh. how do you read right. that? <laughs> right? Uh-huh. No, no, a few of my titles are in audio. A-J-R-T-P is the first line. <laughs> L-B-R-V-E is the second line. <laughs> Find those words. <laughs> yeah, no oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, my word search are just paperback. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, but the, uh, so the Trumier books are also in a Kindle style, and that makes them more interactive. They're, the pictures are in color and Oh, like nice, that. nice. Okay. The paperback, <coughs> you have a question on one page, and you turn the page for the answer. Well, Denise, thank you for giving us a, a way for the for us, not just the kids, for us to unplug, too. I, 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 love, what right. you, I yeah. love what you do. It's very relaxing. Uh, books worth buying dot top, T-O-P, like a spinning top. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Wow, first time I heard that. Denise Lorenz, thank you so much for being on the air with us today. Thank you for having me. All right, you're welcome. We will be right back. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. We're getting word that an American was among the three victims killed in the terror attack in London. The Associated Press saying that they have a statement from relatives that a Utah man was actually one of those killed in the London attack yesterday. His wife was also a victim. She was injured. We do not know her condition. Fox's Shannon Bream. This is more comes out on the attacker who's dead. British born national, but also an individual who was on the security services radar. He He'd been investigated by MI5 a number of years ago because of links to ex- extremism. Mark White with Fox Sister Network Sky News. The president taking to Twitter to urge people to call their lawmakers to support the GOP health care legislation up for a vote today. And Lockheed Martin moving production of F-16 fighter jets from Texas to South Carolina. Fox News, we report, you decide. Hey guys, your prostate should be the last thing on your mind, but the fact is, the older you get, the more likely you'll have prostate problems, which can affect your everyday life. That's where Prostate Complete by Real Health comes in. Prostate Complete is the result of 20 years of experience as a leader in men's health. The powerful formula in Prostate Complete supports natural prostate function and reduced urinary urges for a better quality of life. Available at Walmart, visit prostateoneperday.com for special offers. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Geico presents a voicemail from your...